Do you ever worry that your art skills aren't good enough? I mean, my answer to that would be, mm, not really. First of all, like, have you ever been to a contemporary art gallery? It's really motivating because a lot of stuff you see in there is not going to be like the Mona Lisa. It's not going to be um, perfect photographic renditions of real things. And yeah, there are a lot of different skills that don't involve photorealism. There's um, skill with color, um, with ideas, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, sometimes I will upload things that don't really meet my vision of what I wanted. Especially like my found poetry journal. I just play in that and I'm often not really satisfied with what I end up with, but I'll post it anyway. And sometimes I think about how it might be received or if um, some random stranger came across it, what would they think, you know? Um, and I have to kind of think about what I'm trying to avoid by waiting until I have something perfect to put online. And I start to think about uh, Jamie Joe, who is behind the YouTube channel uh, Banana Jamana. She has these amazing skills. She can do unbelievable details in this craft acrylic paint and has really great use of color. <clears throat> and on top of that, she has this really uh, sweet personality that's very endearing. But one day, one of her videos got on the trending page of YouTube and that exposed her videos to a whole bunch of people who had never heard of her. And so all of these people who are so offended that somebody they have never seen could possibly end up on the trending page instead of whoever their favorite person is. And they stormed her page and said horrible things and um, called her a liar and called her a fake artist and made fun of her, the way she looks, I guess. And it's just mind-boggling to me because I don't understand how anyone could even rationalize acting that way in public. Um, also someone who just like clearly doesn't deserve it. And, uh, and that really just kind of reminds me that no one is safe. I could have incredible skills. I could become the best painter in the world and still be at risk of being hated on. So it really doesn't matter if I'm really good at painting or if I'm not because there will always be abusive people out there who are willing to humiliate themselves in public. So I would just put it up. Also the feeling of not being as skilled as you wish you were isn't always negative. It doesn't always suck. Now you think about any time you've seen a piece of art that is just taking your breath away and kind of makes you feel jealous. There's actually like physical pain almost when <laughs> you think like, oh, I wish I'd thought of that. Why, why am I not this good? Why am I even trying? But at the same time, like it's really motivating. Competition is motivating as hell. And when you see something that you really love and you think, I want to be that person, I want to do that, I want to get that skilled. And then you look at the art piece and you think about, well, what did, what did they do that's different from what I do and how did they do that? It makes you feel a little bit like an investigator when you figure it out. You also get the fresh clarity of having a specific goal and when you see something that you really want, you have something to aim for. Whereas if you get really comfortable in the artwork that you're making, you tend to get a little bit bored, maybe a little aimless, you know, you don't know what you're supposed to do next. And that's why we're here watching these videos, right? We just, we want to see something that will motivate us to keep working. We're trying to pick up little secrets to improve. And that's why sometimes it's actually kind of nice to think that you're art skills aren't good enough because now we have somewhere to go. <laughs> and at this point I almost feel obligated to invite any new people who are here to come check out our art sketching group on Patreon where we take a theme every month and we practice our sketching and post artwork and actually have conversations about it. That'd be really nice. 
We've been posting photo references that we can use. There will be scavenger hunts, there will be um, extra journal prompts, and all that fun stuff. And so I will always leave a link below in case you're interested. And let me know what you think about this topic. Does your fear of not being good enough prevent you from moving forward or does it motivate you? Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.